is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. Um, testing out this quick thing because I'm having so many problems with my computer and phone and everything. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I don't know if this is working. I don't know if anybody is seeing me. I don't know if anybody knows I'm alive. I'm supposedly working in this storage locker where they probably will find me dead. Um, I've been trying to get a camper or a room or, a, you know, this is crazy. I, I'm, you know, I'm on my knees praying. I'm at the end of my my thing here. They've they've done it. You know, they've pushed me over the end, over the edge, and I'm barely holding on to a semblance of humanity or whatever until I become one of those corpses or one of those people you see in the. 7G ward. Um, I'm in this storage locker now trying to get online and try to see if I can arrange to get a camper or borrow money or figure anything out and I'm like me 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 you know with panic attacks and um, these people don't like me here at this locker for some reason even though it's supposedly we're supposed to be able to work here and whatever. So I don't know man. You know, I, I went by the, the place yesterday, the people had moved out. Uh, they keep coming back every day to bother patrons, scream and yell and threaten her and come in the room and, and there's no freaking way she's gonna pack it herself. And we don't have the money. She doesn't want, I mean, you know, so we're probably gonna lose all this shit because she's, you know, and I don't freaking know what to do. I really don't, man. I'm I'm so lost. If we had a couple thousand dollars more, I could say, okay, pay the guys to move. Okay, buy a freaking camper. You know, okay, da -da, but we don't. We have almost enough money to do one thing, and that will leave us without. I don't know, man. I think this is my fault. I don't know. Maybe getting the storage locker was a stupid idea. But the problem was I could we could anyway, who knows? I'm just praying and hoping and you know, this guy's telling me, throw away everything you own, walk off into the woods. You know, my mother sent me a book, go to Alaska. There's some kid who went to Alaska and died. Um, she sent me two copies of it. Uh, into the wilderness or something. You gotta wonder when your mother sends you a book like that twice. Um I don't know if this is recording, I don't know if anybody's seeing me, so it's like, hello, here I am on the moon, having a nervous breakdown in an 8x10 metal thing. At least I have this technology, at least I have a, a McDonald's, whatever this is, left over from yesterday, uh, and at least I have medication that will manage the panic attacks. Now, what's going to happen when my generator runs out of, I have more gasoline? You know, like, I, I could survive if people would feed me the fuck alone, but they won't leave me alone. You know, um, this is so insane. I'm like, uh, really at the end of the rope here, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, so I'm trying to like, come up with ways to survive. You know, I really don't want to have to just be homeless wander around in the street because it's dangerous and I'm really sick and that's my thing going on and off the internet you know and they've done it they've done it they've pushed and pushed and pushed and they're V2K Patriot mad she's so terrified she doesn't even want to go outside she's like and the people they're talking to me and they're telling me arrest her in housing court arrest her arrest her arrest her and she's so terrified because the cops beat her up one time really bad before this whole thing started so or rather as part of this whole thing you know she's been put in in the hospital even though she'd never had any this thing has reduced us to like, you know, the kind of people that people laugh at and, and say, oh, you're crazy, stupid, oh, you're out of your mind. But you know what? It's 100% real. And I was just like you before this started.
So keep that in mind. And as for the people who know, God bless you. I know what you're going through. I, I feel it. I, I am you. You are me. You know? As to why this is happening, who's doing it, and, and all that other stuff. At this point, it almost doesn't even matter, you know? <laughs> it's like... <sighs> so... Say some prayers, you know? And, uh... If you feel like donating your money to help us get a camper, there's a button on the paper on the page of the thing. But you know, whenever I say that, people yell at me and call me a scumbag. So <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, I mean, there's people on the internet reaching out and making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with which they, you know, buy PlayStation games. And I don't, I don't know, you know whatever and, and all I want is, is a place to lay my head my weary broken you know microwave Morgellons filled medicated head so that I can die with a little bit of dignity and peace but I guess you know, I don't know if I sit here and do nothing nothing will happen so what else am I gonna do I'm calling everybody I know, I'm emailing, I'm looking, I'm, you know, uh, so, I wish I had more uplifting things to say, I wish I had all kinds of spiritual whatever and whatever, but you can tell why they're banging me so hard on this, because if you Google me, you'll see that I'm all over the place, and, uh, you know, it's gonna come out eventually, but, I'm gonna look like a lunatic. So, um, it's really, really horrible. I, I never had panic attacks before. I never had uh, this crazy. <laughs> you know, you get used to being a, a lunatic. You know, the Quasimodo shit. But um, I wasn't always like this, as many of you who are going through this, no. Um, it's the persecution thing. That's what, what it is, you know. These people have the ability somehow. Now, either it's, either it's everybody's involved in it, not everybody, but like a huge cult, like Freemasonic, everybody talks to everybody, you know, like, or religious or whatever, some affiliations that bind them together and, and or there's some kind of technology that is tracking you as the target and then everyone you're around and everything you think and say and do is being monitored so everybody you interact with can be zapped too and they'll say, I don't like this guy, you know, uh, don't do anything good for him, he's a jerk, probably a donkey, he's just going to rip you off, he's going to cause you trouble, whatever they say, and they're, you know, over and over and over again, they have this horrible sleepless night where they, that's all they can think about is you and how horrible you are, and they wind up hating you because they do it over and over and over, or perhaps there's something in the biology of the parasitic, uh, Morgellons, Electro, whatever, spiritual, dingle dingle, that is changing the genetics or the whatever of the people we're mutating, and the non-mutated people are bugging out because they can sense it, or maybe there's more than one species of people, and some of them are, you know, I don't know, there's things are changing. I'm changing, the world is changing, politics are changing, money is changing, life is changing, and I, I don't know. Sometimes it helps me just to talk, you know. I pray, I talk, or whatever, but here I am, desperate, and could be worse. I'm always grateful for the many blessings. I can count them and count them and count them and count them and count them, and I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's like you know, but it still hurts, and it's still scary, and it still sucks, and, I, you know, I, I didn't want to end this way, I didn't want to go this way, I didn't want to, and my poor Petra, 
she's so good. She told me today, you were right. You told me that everybody that knows you gets hurt, and here I am getting hurt, and, you know, I still love you, but... I'm like, yeah, all right, they're finally doing it. They're going to break us apart, and that's it. That'll be the death of me. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Is this what God wants? Is this what my Lord and Creator and my Father in Heaven wants for me? Was I really that... that horrendously awful that, that this is what I deserve you know if that's the case then well so be it man who am I to argue with uh... but if not then what the frick is going on here you know <laughs> anyway thank you all for listening May God bless you and keep you. And I'm so sorry that this is what it is, you know. And I'm grateful that I have this outlet. I would talk to myself if there was nobody else to talk to. And I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to show whoever's interested my suffering and my joy when I have it and uh, my thoughts, you know. I mean, me, 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 my, my, my. I'm clearly, I understand that there are more than six billion people on this planet and they all have a story just like me. And they all pray one way or another and they all hope and they dream and they want and they need. They eat and they sleep and they shit and they fuck and they need money and, you know, I'm not stupid, I'm not foolish, I'm not blind, I'm not, con you know, I'm, I, I'm, I know. So, you know, one little tiny <laughs> except that that's what we all are you know this gloriful glor glorious amazing and we don't see it you know we treat each other like garbage <laughs> we listen to programming and mind control and we want useless shit and we can't seem to figure out what's going on so of course we're being used and manipulated and murdered Anyway, see if this worked. I may have just been talking, but thanks.